Psychologist Dr. Angela Bass with us this morning on a Valentine's Day special. Dr. Angela, for those who've been married for many, many years, sometimes romance isn't the easiest thing for some. How can we keep the spark alive? Well, I mean, start with thinking that, you know, it's nothing you want to take for granted. That's often one of the biggest complaints or the biggest precursors to breakups and divorce. Being underappreciated, not respect. In fact, a lot of philosophies think that even more important than love, the undercurrent or bedrock of relationships and solid ones at that is respect. And the thing is, even if you don't meditate, for example, you can be very mindful in the moment. You can look at your spouse, you can look at your partner, you know, really deeply in the eyes just for a minute, hold their gaze and wonder, you know, where you'd be without them, all that you've shared, where they'll be, what will happen 300 years from now, right? Just taking that moment, you know, usually we're so busy out the door, you know, our Uber is late, cup of coffee in the hand, and, you know, we're just taking everyone for granted. So just slowing down a bit. Um, and, and the other thing is, you know, a lot of times we can sort of look towards Hollywood for unrealistic notions of romance, you know, it, it's just sort of happen instantaneously and then it's happily ever after so many people place an emphasis let's say on the whole optics of a wedding ceremony and romance but no one's really thinking about the marriage or relationship per se and that takes hard work yeah um it's something you want to consciously maintain a lot of people have this notion that you know if i have to make an effort with it it must not be the right fit or must not be the right person Keep in mind, some parts, of course, will be effortless. You know, you can finish each other's sentences, you understand each other intuitively, but other parts over the years will be hard work. But the good news is it's usually really worth its while. All right. Well, we're with psychologist Dr. Angela Bass. Next up, for some, falling in love again might be the most difficult thing, especially if it's been after a bad breakup. How do you move on? Well, we'll find out next on Light.